All right, here we are out here with animal rights activism Sydney. Yeah, this is a very similar style to my brothers and sisters over at Anonymous for the Voiceless, what they do. We've got the uh, TV screens up here with the animal agriculture footage on there. We're going to go talk to some people about how they support the worst animal abuse on earth. Let's go. Amazing. I've been watching lots and lots of your videos. Amazing. Over and over again. And yeah. now you're doing activism. Yes. Well, I've been, I was a vegetarian activist for a long time and vegetarian when I was 16. Yeah. With the intention of going vegan. It took me a long time to get there. Yeah, that's cool. It's a horrible way. We're trying to stop it, bro. That's all, mate. We're just trying to. We're trying to stop people from buying the product, so yeah. that they don't. You know, we don't want animals to be hurt, man. No, it's not cruel, isn't it? Yeah. It's not cruel, like, yeah, they're yeah. Not they didn't do nothing wrong to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're innocent, and that's right. We just want when yeah. people buy it, they they got the knife in their hand. You know, yeah. we want yeah. them to just. Oh, I understand. Like, these that's these products here, yeah. this these restaurants, yeah, these, this vegan shit. Yeah. No animals are tortured and killed for it, bro. So right. take it with you, man, and. I've seen it before. You have? Yeah, about, oh, about maybe, it was a doc documentary on it about probably maybe 18 months ago. A Dominion? Uh, on TV. Oh, a documentary on TV, okay. Yeah, about this, yeah, I was watching it. Fuck. Yeah, I watched it before, I've seen yeah. it all. It's fucking cruel, mate. Right? Yeah, that, yeah. I'm saying, like, the way they kill the animals, they slaughter them. Yeah. If I'm wrong, you know, like, they, they, they put them to sleep or whatever they do, do it the right way, it'll be fair, you know? If the animal is sitting there and it's dying, fair enough, you know what I mean? But to kill an innocent fucking um, yeah. cow just for fucking meat, you know what I mean? It's unjustified. For, 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 for our citizens for, to feed them, it's fucking wrong, you know what I mean? And no one here sees what's going on in there. No, they just go in the supermarket, yeah, all nice and nice and dandy. They don't see the suffering in the blood. That's true, exactly, yeah. 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 That's because the male chicks don't grow up to lay eggs, so they, they just dispose of them, they chuck them in there fully conscious. Yeah, that's when they first hatch, that happens at the hatchery. Oh my god. That's the egg industry, uh, free range organic, they all get rid of the males because they don't grow up to be egg laying hens, you know? Look at the kill them, but Yeah. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about them, man, they're just products to them that, you know, people buy eggs and they push the button on the blender. Yeah. Look, why I changed, I didn't want to be a hypocrite anymore, I didn't want to be an animal abuser anymore, and I just went, f*** this, I've got to do something, and I was like, well, I can be a vegan, that's the best well, thing I can do. I thought, what I thought was that, um, when I watched it on TV, I thought, why don't they shut the factory again, you know what I mean? But they're still fucking doing it, they shut why can't they shut the factory down? And that's what you used to do, you used to try it out. Because the government legally, this is legal. They're making money off it. F***ing bulk, mate, yeah, bulk cash. Yeah. We don't need it, mate. We're right. Yeah. We don't need to eat it. That's like, we're not trying to be surviving in the tribe with hunting animals. Right. We don't have no justification. Yeah, we're not f***ing right. stuck. We can go into Woolies right now, yeah. get some bread, get some whatever, uh, right. some That's veggies, right. some fruit, right. some beans, some tofu, whatever we want. Right. We don't have to stab right. anyone to death for food anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, it does, eh? Hey? Anyways, nice meet ya. Got a good heart, mate. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, yeah. check out that stuff and yeah. do the right I'm thing, buddy. Before, mate. On you, buddy. Oh, On you. What a legend, eh? Good guy, see? Honest. An honest, big hearted guy. Oh, that guy there, man. Like, because of the, he's got tattoos and he looks a bit rougher, like, people won't, like, they, they judge a book by its cover. That guy had a bigger heart than some of the, you know, I don't know, how would I say, privileged people that walk around that haven't lived through any suffering that, that look at these animals. Human privilege, it is, it's human privilege. But they live in this beautiful country here and look at the animals being tortured and go, who gives a shit? He walks past and goes, this is horrible, this is cruel, why are we doing this? You know what I mean? But people, like, I, don't, I just don't understand, like, some of the young people I speak to, they don't give a shit about this. Like, I'm sitting there debating with them in a university about why this is wrong. It shouldn't even be a debate. Did that man there debate with me? <laughs> no. He just went, wow, that's cruel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, one plus one equals fucking two. It's like, this isn't, you know, that's what I mean, people are so caught up in their own, like, it's, it's a lot of ego, it's a lot of like, I don't know, they're fighting to hold on to their their beliefs, their, their stake, their, I don't know. I don't really don't, 
sometimes I just lose hope in people, eh? But then someone like him walks past. I'm like, wow, what a legend, eh? What a good guy, you know? I don't know if he's going to go vegan, but at least he agreed that it's f***ing cruel and we're doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Speak English, yeah? Do you know what this is? It's against the bed uh, when the animals are bad. In the animals. Yeah, it's where people get their meat, cheese, milk and eggs from. Slaughterhouses and farms here. Yeah, where are you guys from? Germany. Germany. I've been to Germany. I've been out the front of German slaughterhouses as well, yeah? Yeah. yeah. In Germany, they have uh, forbidden. They have not forbidden. Forbid this... Uh, whole kind of slaughtery? Yeah. They forbid what? They said that in Germany, this kind of slaughtery is forbidden. That's ridiculous. No, 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 no. Germany, ha Berlin, I've been to a gas chamber in Berlin. Do you, have you seen the gas, pigs be gas chambered? Yeah. Have you seen pigs be gas chambered? Yeah. yeah it's, I don't know if you've seen it on the screen. Horrible. They don't prohibit any of this in Germany. No, no, not yeah. the gas chambers. No. They're totally serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so is uh, slaughtering animals with a bolt gun and a knife to the throat. Is it completely legal in Germany too? Yeah, they do this all around the world. Standard practice. Yeah. Do you know what they do at the top here? This is what they might have stopped oh, yeah, in Germany. They, they, they put them in a mixer. The right? blender. Chicken yeah, yeah. So you know about this? Chicken nuggets. Yeah, I've, I've seen but this. Video. So you must have changed your diet by now or your lifestyle? At least I, I only buy like, yeah. meat. That I don't buy like super cheap meat and stuff. Yeah. If I buy meat, I, I buy like, the expensive one. Which is, I don't know. It makes you feel better? I don't know if, if the conditions are actually better. Uh, that's just what really makes me feel better. Yeah. So those labels make you feel better, but that, that animal was murdered in a slaughterhouse just like these ones. You know they all go to the same slaughterhouse? No, I don't. Well, they, they, they slaughter factory farmed animals at the same place they slaughter the free range animals. You know? And you're right, you don't know what happened to that animal. But you know it's chopped up in a, in a package there in front of you. So that should be sure, yeah. evidence. Yeah. yeah. The reason we show people this is not for, we don't stand here for no reason, we're, we're trying to convince the pub, we're not convince the public, we're trying to let the public understand that without sure, their money, no, we want them to know they pay for animal abuse. Sure. It's really simple. Like without the public, they don't slaughter animals, you know. Sure. So the blood is on the hands of people who buy it. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Who's organising this? Uh, animal Rights Activism Sydney. Yeah. We're just animal rights activists, like we're just people that give a shit about animals being stabbed to death, basically. When we have options, vegan options. I used to be vegan for a few months, just to try. Yeah. A lot of people say they try vegan, but it's, vegan's like a philosophy you adhere to. It's like being against racism, you're against animal abuse, you know, similar thing. I wouldn't agree it's the same like being against racism, not at all, but I just try to, to, like, to see, you know, Right now I'm not busy, but I'm super busy like if I would work. So I try to see how like if there's like a big threshold to just going full full vegan. Yeah. So I did like two or three months of being vegan. And I just figured it, it was more expensive, it took more time, it took some pr more practice. Not if you live in Berlin, but perhaps not if you live in Sydney. But at least in, in my city, which is on the opposite side, it's a sister. It was a little bit inconvenient at first. Yeah, you don't like in Berlin. You don't have any. It doesn't make a difference whether you eat vegan or if you don't. Uh, perhaps it doesn't here, but at least in Düsseldorf, it's very hard to like. You don't have really shops where you, which which you're, you can be sure of that they are vegan. Or if you have vegan ones, they're super expensive. And if you go to supermarkets where you only have like good vegetarian quality or vegan quality or things that are only vegan, it's, it's super expensive. At least for I come from. I agree that some vegan products are super expensive, but also the most cheapest products in the supermarket, the whole food plants, the beans, the rice, the, the potatoes, the corn, the vegetables and the fruits, those are the cheapest foods in the supermarket, by far. You know, Maybe. so you can design a vegan diet that is health, uh, that is cost effective for you. For sure. Right? But the reason I said it's like being against racism is because it's an issue of injustice here. I mean, it's not the same as racism, but it's we're discriminating against some animals and we're cutting sure, their heads yeah. off because of that. So it's a it's an injustice. It's it's not right. You know, it's it wrong. is an injustice. Yeah. I was just not agreeing with the kind of the analogy. Uh, yeah. Well, both just of them are evil. They are, but to a different extent. Uh, of course. 
racism is like, oh, they're different to us, let's treat them differently. Let's treat them badly. Surely the underlying yeah. principle is, yeah, yeah. is the same. They're uh, different uh, to us, let's treat them badly. <laughs> let's cut their head off. And let's just say you buy this free range animal, right? I, I'll let, I don't believe so, because I've seen free range farms. But let's just say like this animal, they're on the grass, then they get led into the slaughterhouse and get shot in the skull and have their head cut off, gutted, turned into meat. Yeah. You know, that's the injustice. They're treated as... Surely, the, the underlying principle, I, I get the analogy to, to racism, but I don't just don't, I just don't think that it's to, to the same extent. It's worse. The, the no. result of human supremacy to animals is worse. Where are three trillion humans being holocausted right now? They're not. No, exactly. Three trillion animals every year, including sea animals, because 2.7 trillion marine animals are also murdered. Sure. So bad things have happened because of racism. We can all see into history, it's evil. Racism is evil. Human slavery, you know, bad shit. Human slavery still exists. Where is this type of treatment of humans legal? No, it isn't. Yeah, it's legal here to, history, yeah. It's legal here to do this to animals in Australia. This is actually standard legal practice. Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't need a lot of meat anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Like, I eat maybe chicken once a week. But, uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope that that you can still see from that bird's perspective that has their head cut off for that once a week sure. that it's still an injustice, you know? Because it's, really it's really, like, not that inconvenient when you put the animals first. Well, not, I'm not saying, like, oh, sacrifice your life for animals. I'm saying, like, when you look at it from the victim's perspective, Moving this way in a supermarket, moving that way in a supermarket, buying some, you know, beans and rice and some fruits and veggies and some soy milk. It's really not that bad compared to having your head cut off. No, it's not too bad. I know. Yeah. It's good talking it's to you, good mate. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, buddy. Hmm. Yeah, it was a good chat. I don't know. It's a little bit too easy, I think. I don't know. I just don't know what he was thinking, that's all. Like, it's hard because... Yeah, it seemed a little bit like apathy. Like, this is why some people might measure that as a successful conversation. I mean, I, I told, explained it the best I could. But you just don't know. Like, and I felt, from that conversation, not confident in what he was going to do after it. But you can only try your best, hey? So, who knows?